What the research shows is that the grades three, four, and five are the kids that are still passionate about bringing home what they learn to their families. If you reach that population of the community, if you reach that segment, you'll have people that will share what they learned and help our entire community be, be safe just by passing along what they learned about disasters. Tsunamis, earthquakes, and house fires are the three most common threats in Japan and are the natural disasters they focus on. However, it is an uncommon household item they are teaching with, pillowcases. We have done um, about 15 presentations and we've talked to and presented to over 300 students this year, so we're really making an impact. The Pillowcase Project helps kids understand disaster readiness by making things fun and comfortable. I love teaching the children because it is, um, it's fun and it's exciting to see them learning and as a mom and a volunteer it's nice to know that our kids know um, what to do in case of an emergency. We can customize it. The children are given pillowcases with survival instructions and told to decorate them with whatever they think they'll need to remember in case of an emergency. The timing of disasters can be unexpected, as are children's questions. We told the students that if they leave their doors open, the pets will usually follow and follow the fresh air. But one student talked about her pet turtle, and we had to explain to her that if you get out of the fire, you can tell the fire department who wore the appropriate gear. They can go in and rescue your turtle. So um, it never ceases to amaze me, the interesting question kids get, but it's, it's all part of the job, and I love it. The responses from the kids and the questions from the kids make it really memorable because it shows that we're um, we're teaching them information that they're going to be able to use. The program was inspired by Loyola University students during Hurricane Katrina who used pillowcases to carry their valuables. I want all the members of the community that work with children of these ages to know that our program exists and that it's researched and well proven to be an effective way to teach disaster preparedness to children. Reporting from Fleet Activities Yokosuka, I'm Petty Officer Andrew P. Holmes.